my loves it's monica and welcome back to my channel i'm so excited because today i am filming a new cozy gaming slash reading vlog and i'm just so hyped for this weekend it is friday it has been quite the dreary day today to be honest it's been raining all day and all i've wanted all day is to just cozy on up and play a game read a book all of that so I'm finally able to do that now that I'm off of work but I'm especially excited because the game that I'm going to be playing is one of my most anticipated games of the entire year and that is Disney Dreamlight Valley and yeah I have been so excited for this game highly anticipating it for so long I can't believe that it is about to be downloaded onto my computer and I also cannot believe that I'm actually working with Gameloft in celebration of this game's release that's just mind-blowing to me I'm over the moon I yeah cannot believe so the game is out today the day this video is going live and available for early access and if you get early access you get access to a variety of really cool founders perks which i think is amazing so definitely a reason to get it early i'm currently downloading the game very excited to finally play it and that is my big plan for tonight and i'm also planning on doing some reading the book that i'm going to be picking up for this vlog is half a soul by olivia atwater and this is supposed to be a cozy romantic fantasy set in the regency era and this is supposed to be like a combination of howl's moving castle meets pride and prejudice which sounds sensational i'm so excited to read that so yeah i this is gonna be a very exciting good weekend for me i think and i'm just excited to have a you know really chill evening in tonight especially all right i think this game is downloaded so let's play right, we're gonna set up our first game oh my gosh i'm so excited <laughs> this is so pretty Woo! oh my gosh there's so many editing options I'm so excited. All right, let's see. Um, let's do body first. Oh, okay. And then, oh, I love that they have like different body types. That's really cool. Oh my gosh, she's so cute already. And then what is this for? Oh, another blush. Yeah, you can get like really nitty gritty with here with this. Oh my gosh, you could choose your freckle color. That's adorable oh my gosh hairstyle okay let's see right, we could do peach which i do love i do love peach hair i think we'll do that because i miss having peach hair so just for that reason alone a reason alone there's so many different hair options <sighs> okay i want oh my gosh the pigtails are so cute okay i think we're gonna do the pigtails my name for all games is always peach so i think we're just gonna stick with that i like it So pretty. Our story begins with an ending. As you decide it's time to leave the city behind. Much of imagination. All your dreams will come true. This animation is beautiful. Finding the perfect place for a rest, you begin remembering these long lost dreams and drift off to sleep. We're going to go to the Dreamlight Valley. <laughs> I'm so excited right now. I don't know if you know. I'm like, oh, like this. I've been so excited for this game. <gasps> this is so amazing. Well, hello. What's this? Are my spectacles enchanted or might you actually be real? Of course I'm real. I don't know. Are you? What kind of question is that? Um, I don't know. Are you? Okay, so he's having me do a test to see if I am, in fact, the one to save Dreamlight Valley. So I'm taking a little bit of a break to make dinner. I have some leftover Thai food, so I'm gonna heat that up. Um, and I'm very excited for it. I love the curry.
so I just uh, put the dishwasher on so if you hear rushing water that's what that is but um, I read a few pages of half a soul while I was eating dinner and it's so cute so far I really love the writing style I will be honest like I wasn't sure like if it was gonna be more simplistic or not but it's like really cute the writing style it's very quaint that's the style Theodora Eloise Charity Eddings was a very long name for a very small girl this her aunt liked to say was probably why she was such a handful by the time one had fully shouted the words Theodora Eloisa Charity Eddings you get back here this instant said 10 year old girl was almost always long gone it just has that sort of like very quaint I guess is the best word to describe it like cadence in the writing and so I really like that so far um, I'm not very far into it so I can't really speak more to it than that but so far I'm enjoying and dinner was delicious I also <laughs> the dishwasher is making a lot of really intense sounds so sorry um, I also got this in the mail just now so this is marple um, and it's 12 new mysteries inspired by the Miss Marple collection from Agatha Christie um, and I have been wanting to read the marple collection for a while now and I'm super excited because Lee Bardugo is one of those authors so I just think that sounds really exciting. Um, I know people love Ruth Ware, she's one. Um, Naomi Alderman, Alyssa Cole, Lucy Foley. So yeah, very, very excited to get that in the mail and we'll definitely add it to my growing Ag Agatha Christie collection. Anyways, so I ate dinner, I read a little bit, I'm gonna play a little bit more of my game and then I have some chores to do unfortunately and I really do need to prioritize doing them I did that thing I did laundry um, and I had to put away my laundry so one of the ways in which I force myself to have to put away my laundry is I just throw it all onto my bed so if I want to go to bed I had to put away my laundry now do I sometimes just push the laundry to the side and go to bed sometimes maybe but not tonight tonight I'm gonna put away the laundry um, and it'll be great so but first I'm gonna play my game because I am not very far into it and I want I just want to like see more of the world and everything and how it works just opened my mailbox and these are all of the um, really cool rewards that you get for being for the this is the ultimate founders pack so you get all these different like exclusive things that you can use to decorate and wear and you also get like 20,000 moonstones which I think is like the in-game currency so super excited about that oh there's Scrooge oh this is okay this is just where I was <laughs> it's just a different area but this is really pretty oh my god it's so stunning oh it's so pretty okay let's go see Merlin I think I was supposed to do this so I didn't think about the fact that you have to rest in this game that you do eventually run out of energy so I'm hanging out in my house right now to restore energy and also just like checking out my inventory and I like just realized that the soundtrack is sensational right now we have some tangled playing and it's like the, just the most soothing music I really hope that they release like the soundtrack for this because I feel like this would be great just like chill music Hello, friend. Oh my gosh, wait, can I feed you? <gasps> okay, what do I feed you? I guess an apple? Did I give you an apple? Okay, there you go. Oh my gosh, wait, it's so cute! <laughs> oh my gosh. And he planted some flowers for me. Thank you, friend. <sighs> Hello, so it is like 10.30 at night, and I've just spent the last like few hours <laughs> playing that game it's so fun I'm so excited for y'all to play it and to be able to talk about it with people because it's it's just like so chill and fun and like everything that I've been looking for in a game and I love just like how I love the music I love the characters like I love like getting to meet the characters and I definitely my goal I think is to really improve my friendship with them over the next couple days I think that'll be my like early game goal um but yeah it's so cute but anyways as I mentioned it's 10 30 I do have the goal of also doing some cleaning so I'm going to do that because my room is a disaster we are moving in a few weeks um we're going into a bigger space which I'm so excited for because um 
yeah our space is not very big so <laughs> I'm really excited for that but I do I can't live in disaster for like four weeks I need to need to put this get this sorted so I'm gonna do that today So I'm feeling very accomplished because I finished putting away my clothes and I organized things. Um, I have a bunch of like returns that I have to make so I organized all of that, threw away a bunch of stuff, um, went through my clothes for tomorrow because I am tomorrow going to a picnic which I'm very excited for um, to celebrate my friend's domestic partnership very excited for that uh, but yeah that is my evening I think I'm gonna treat myself to a little ice cream take off my makeup and head to bed I might read a little bit too but yeah <laughs> going to Central Park for a cute little picnic to celebrate our friend's domestic partnership. Very excited. Got some snacks. Got a Kaylee. So excited to be amongst the trees. I just got back and I'm so annoyed because look at what happened to my top. My ring caught on it and ripped it and it just like got progressively worse all day. Horrible. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. This is what I get for buying things off of Depop without checking where they were from originally. Hello. So I'm home and I'm so tired. I've changed and I just feel like, like just so exhausted. It was so hot today and we like ran around everywhere. So yeah, definitely a big, big running around kind of day, but also a lovely day too. Yeah, I am making, I need to eat something cause I really haven't eaten much today. So I'm gonna start off by having a smoothie because I've just been like craving a smoothie. Um, I also have this stuff, which is so good. It's, I don't know if it's sorrel or sorrel, but it is a Caribbean drink um, and it is delicious. It's so good. Um, I put it in my smoothies. Like I make a berry smoothie and I add a bit of this and it's like gingery, refreshing, like floral. It's delicious. Absolutely. If you can find it where you are, I highly recommend getting some because I'm obsessed. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to have just a simple berry smoothie. I just do like mixed berries, some pineapple juice, some sorrel, and that is, that's everything. So I'm going to have that and then think about what I actually want to eat for dinner. <laughs> So I was so tired. I ended up just ordering in some sushi and I've been eating that and almost done. I've been trying not to order out as much because I definitely order out too much. Um, but I was honestly, my legs hurt so much um, from today. I was wearing ballet flats too, um, which was probably not smart for like such a long like walking day. But yeah, I was just so tired. I was like, whatever treat myself sushi it is 
Hello friends, so it is Sunday and I am getting ready. Uh, I have a show today which I'm very excited for. I'm gonna see Between the Pages which is a new musical. It's an adaptation of a Jodi Picoult novel actually. I have not read the novel. I debated reading the novel before going to see the show but I, I just didn't have the time so alas it's fine but I'm excited because basically the premise of the story is that like these characters come out of books and that alone is like one of my favorite sort of I don't know if that's a trope but just like ideas so I'm really excited <laughs> I think that'll be really fun yesterday was lovely it was just so lovely to like walk through Central Park and then just like go to Soho with Kaylee um, and we just like did some shopping um, and we went to Otherland and the new Bagu store um, and we did a little bit of damage at I can't even lift it at Otherland so Otherland is like a candle store candle company um and i've been keen to try their scents for a while and they had like a promotion going on so we both got three candles and mini candles so the mini one i got is this one this is called match point and oh my gosh it smells so good and this is such an interesting scent because it has notes of cut grass cucumber and tennis ball and you can like legitimately smell the tennis ball and you wouldn't think that that was like an appealing scent but it's so good it's such a like fresh summery scent so yeah really into this one I just got a mini of it though because um, as much as I do like it and it's really interesting I don't know if I like want a huge one so the next candle I got is this one this is stone fruit and this has notes of beach plum peach skin and brown sugar it's like super juicy but it does definitely have like a little bit of warmth to it and that definitely helps it stay like pretty interesting so I like that one and I don't know if I mentioned it in this vlog yet but we're moving soon and we're each gonna have our own bathroom and so I think this is gonna be my bathroom scent because I'm going for a very pink barbie barbie core vibe in there and then these next two ones are much more autumnal so this one is Berkshire's granola has notes of creamy oat milk toasted granola and pumpkin seeds and the packaging is stunning on this one so this one just smells like super warm and cozy and sweet but like not sickly sweet you know like it's not like a like I can't do like the Yankee candles Bath and Body Works candles because when they're sweet they're just like so intense it's just so cozy versus like intensely sweet and I love the packaging on it the like little mushroom and the yellow I think that's so cute and then this last one, this is like the ultimate dark academia scent. It's called Tapestry for crisp starry nights with kindred spirits. And this one has notes of burnt maple, smoky oud, and vetiver. And I love the like, what is this? Tartan? No. Plaid? No. Tweed. I love the like the tweed design on the cap. It smells like you're in an old library with a burning fireplace this like this smells like the secret history <laughs> is what it smells like it smells so good i'd recommend it if you like the scent um by the fireplace from replica um i think you'd really love this that's my favorite perfume in late fall slash winter so as soon as i smelled this i was like i must own this but yeah last night i just sort of we got home and to be honest i wasn't feeling great i was just like really anxious and I think like just having really intense period cramps so I crawled into bed pretty like early then because of my anxiety I couldn't really sleep so at like 1 a.m. I started playing a little bit more of Disney Dreamlight Valley and I just have to say like I genuinely like love this game and like I love a lot of games but like I love this one in a way that I haven't loved a game in a while and I don't really know how to put it into words I don't I don't know like I feel like I'm like 13 or 12 when I'm playing it you know like there's just this feeling of magic and wonder and like excitement and I just want to like explore and you know maybe it's just my mentality right now too I don't know but like there's something about the game that like I just love I, I I'm really excited to decorate my house I think that's what I'm gonna do tonight um, is just spend some time like decorating my house because it's a little run down um, but I love like the shopping and you know meeting all the characters and just like hanging out with all these characters and I'm super excited to meet more characters but yeah it's just like it's so much bigger and 
more fun than I think I had anticipated and like could have even imagined like it's just so well done so yeah I feel like I'm gonna be playing this one um for a while I might do some streaming of it I my big plan so I have it I kind of had to leave streaming behind for a while just because it's it's been hard in this space that we have because like we just don't have a lot of space you know but in our new apartment we each can have offices which is wild um and so i want to get back into streaming so i think i'm gonna stream this game because it's just so fun and i really just i feel like it'd be a really fun one to stream so let me know if that's of interest i'll definitely do that but yeah um i'm about to head out to go to the show so i'm gonna do that i'll do a quick little outfit of the day first though okay so this is my outfit for today i'm just wearing this really cute sulky dress that i am obsessed with um and i think i'm gonna wear it off the shoulder um so i'm wearing this but i'm gonna wear sneakers and a tote bag just to try and make it a little bit more casual a little bit less like princessy but yeah that is the look all right here it is with my sneakers and yeah please ignore the boxes we are moving <laughs> Hello my loves, I am home. Today it was lovely. I went and got to see between the lines my um, roommate Kaylee and our friend Jeremy and it was so cute. So this is a musical. I feel like I'm having such a like romantic fairy tale kind of weekend. But yeah this is a musical where this girl um, gets lost in this like fairy tale book that she finds and she like falls in love with the prince in the fairy tale and she wants to like bring him to life into the real world and it's all about like getting lost in stories and the power of that and the way in which that can really consume you and I found it really beautiful and fun and cute and just like yeah just a lovely time i think they close in like two weeks so if you're in the city and you haven't seen this yet i do recommend i will say that my one sort of critique is that in some ways it kind of occasionally felt like a little bit outdated like some of the references and things it just sometimes when i was watching it i was like oh man if this had come out in like 2012 tumblr would have been all over this like that's kind of how some of some of the parts or references and things felt in the book even in spite of that I think that this story is a really fun one a really magical one and especially if you have like someone younger in your life like there were like you know like young teens in the audience who were just sobbing and I really you know I love seeing people connect with a story and so I definitely think that you know not everyone will have that feeling <laughs> that's for sure i i don't know i feel like i have this thing with with some broadway shows when they are depicting young people where it just sort of it just never feels right you know it's or it's hard to get it to feel like authentic you know um and this one i think does kind of struggle with that but regardless it's a really fun clever show that i just think anyone who loves books who loves fiction will really you know get something out of then i have been reading half a soul and i'm loving it i was not expecting to like i knew i was gonna like this but i i don't know i i feel like stories like this or stories that are pitched like this i tend to sometimes struggle with because i always want there to be more or i just like i struggle to like really feel the connection to really you know to really feel anything and this one is just like really ensnaring me like it's just totally got me gripped into this world and these characters and i didn't realize how much of a like it truly is a retelling of pride and prejudice i just thought people were calling it like comparing it to pride and prejudice but no it like legitimately is like a pride and prejudice retelling i would also say it gives me like ever after vibes if you grew up watching that film um there's something about this the way that it's written that does sort of like give me that feeling all day i've just been like oh i want to be back in that book <laughs> so really enjoying that but anyways i am home now it is 
7.30 at night. Um, I just ate dinner and I think I'm going to play a little bit more Disney Dreamlight Valley. Um, my goal for tonight is I really want to just like decorate my house. That's my plan. So I'm going to do that and then I'll probably end out my evening by reading Half a Soul. Okay, so this is the situation. Um, we're looking a little run down. Uh, so I just want to make it look a little bit nicer, you know? Um, so let's see. What Do I have any floors? Oh, I do have floors. Okay. Ooh, Mickey Mouse hardwood flooring. <gasps> it's so cute. Yes, we're doing the Mickey Mouse hardwood flooring. <gasps> Star Command geometric flooring. Okay, no, we're going to stick with the Mickey Mouse one because that's so cute. Okay. Wait, let's see what we're working with right now. <gasps> Stop it. It's adorable. Okay, and then... I want to get rid of this. I think I'm just going to get rid of everything, actually. Oh my gosh, that got rid of the music. <laughs> uh, we'll undo that, because I like the music. <gasps> oh my gosh, these windows! Yes! This is the move. Okay, do I want it here? Yeah, I want that there. That's so pretty. Stop it! Stop it, that's so pretty. <gasps> Wait, okay. <laughs> Let me see. Let me remove this. What if I did these next to each other? <laughs> okay, that's not the vibe I'm going for right now in this room though. So I'm gonna put that that arched one back. But that's so pretty. Um, okay, and now let's go back. I wanna do wallpaper let's do that Ooh, what options do we have oh wait <gasps> that's so pretty okay that doesn't really go with the window that i picked though does it mm, no okay well i could just do simple white i like that i like these ornate ones Ooh, that one's really cute actually some art and utilities what art do we have <gasps> oh my gosh these are so pretty the castle painting Yes, absolutely. The royal banner. Also adorable. Okay. I I'm just going very extra right now and then we'll we'll adjust as we as we need. Um Oh, I bought this ice throne. <laughs> Cuz why not? Yes, this chandelier an absolute must have. It's so pretty. <gasps> outdoor only oh my gosh I can set things up outside oh, I'm so excited okay yes I do want this piano but I want to rotate it perfect oh I can rotate the camera I didn't realize that <laughs> oh there we go now I know stop it it's so pretty y'all I'm obsessed <sighs> okay I want to move this piano to this corner. Perfect. I think I'm happy with this. So let's save and exit. <gasps> Guys, it's so cute. Look at that. Stop it. I love my cute little room. Let me sit on my throne. We got to change up the outfit. <laughs> I know I have. Yes, I do have. I have two ball gowns. Two ball gowns. <gasps> Look at her, she's so cute. Okay, so I could do this. I also bought this one, ooh. I love it so much. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to do this one. Let's change up my hair. I'm gonna go for a little elegant moment. And then we'll stick with this hair color. Ah, I love it so much. Yes, we are happy with this look at me in my little home. <laughs> so it is midnight. I am so tired. I played for a little while in Disney Dreamlight Valley and I've now just been reading a bit more of Half a Soul. And yeah, it is Sunday night, so tomorrow's a work day, so I should 
take off my makeup and go to bed so i'm gonna go do that but i just wanted to come on here and wrap some things up so yeah as i said i read a bit more of half a soul i'm about a third of the way through and i really really like it i just there's something about the world that i really love um and i really like i'm loving just getting to know these characters and the lore i'm really definitely just really liking this book a lot and i'm excited to continue with it um but unfortunately i won't be able to give you my full thoughts in this video but keep an eye out for that and then as far as the game dreamlight valley i also obviously i love that <laughs> So fun I I just went online and like read some early reviews just because like I wanted to see what other people were thinking of it and it's been getting a ton of praise which is really exciting I just like I can't wait for like just all my friends to have this game so that we can like talk about it and stuff I did also want to ask you guys so I've been doing these cozy gaming vlogs for um, a little while now I mean I did my first one a couple of years ago um, but I've definitely been doing a lot more of them recently and I want to make them a bigger I want to like just do them more and more I really like doing them and I like you know in the same way that I really love doing reading vlogs and showing how I incorporate reading into my day-to-day -day life I kind of want to continue doing that with gaming and I don't know I think it's just fun to like share that and share the experience of like playing a game especially for the first time with you all so my question is that this is the first time where I did like full like gameplay clips like normally because normally when I've done these I've always done them on my switch and this time I was on my pc so it was a lot easier to like capture the gameplay and I could do that with my switch I do have a capture card I'm just lazy so I just wanted to like ask you guys like do you like this style of like just more gameplay um because i can definitely be sure to incorporate that in the future more often um or do you prefer less gameplay and more of like just filming the actual device that i'm playing on if that makes sense i didn't really do any device shots in this video just because it was so easy to like get that gameplay so i was like why would i not just show the gameplay but I feel like I feel like there's a, a a portion of you all who found me through Cozy Gaming who will probably prefer the gameplay, and then there's the portion of you all who found me through like just regular vlogs or BookTube and stuff who might prefer the other way. So I just wanted to get opinions, get thoughts, let me know because you know I, as I continue doing these types of videos, I just want to make them the best that I can. So. Yes, that was this weekend and I had such a lovely time sharing it with you all. I'd love to hear what you guys have been up to recently. What have you been reading, watching, playing? Let me know in the comments down below. As per usual, be sure to subscribe if you haven't and you can turn on alerts so that you get notifications for any future cozy videos that I post and thank you once again to Disney Dreamlight Valley for partnering with me for this video. It was such an honor, so cool to be able to play this game a little bit early and share it with you all. I will have links and everything down below where you can um, check out the game for yourself. But yeah, have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye!